So let's explain the explainable machine learning, right? And what it is and how it works. Explainable machine learning, right? Uh, this is a technology which is unique to reversing labs, and uh, we built it upon our advanced static analysis engine. So the idea behind it is actually quite simple. Uh, we started with collecting a lot of metadata about the files we process, right? And that metadata was transformed so the explainable machine learning engines could be trained. The way it was transformed, it was transformed from the raw metadata into the indicators. And we only use the human readable indicators to train our machine learning models. So once we have that metadata, uh, we you know, train the machine learning models on our backend, and we use it to see if we can get a match, right? We do model, model classification, right? So since the models identify mal malicious families based on the metadata, there are certain outcomes these classification technologies can have. And the outcomes are, for us, we identify what type of malware did we detect. And these are really specific threat type models. And right now, there's four of them. And they define or detect four different threat types. So we can detect worms, we can detect rats or backdoors, and then we can detect ransomware. and key lovers. So these are four different outcomes that our explainable machine learning can produce today. So we start with the metadata, we transform it, we run it through our machine learning models, which produce these outcomes, right? The reason why we call this explainable machine learning is that at the end, once we detect that something is malicious and of this specific threat type, we also explain it. We explain it by highlighting which of these indicators have triggered the model to say that something is a worm or a rat or a ransom or a keylogger. So every single indicator that we collected gets that tag which indicates if the machine learning model thinks this is a strong indicator that this particular threat is ransomware, for example, or a weak one. And all of them are going to be highlighted into the user interface. So when the user starts using our classification models, they get not only the classification based on the threat type, they also get a list of indicators, which is filtered by, by the ones which have significantly contributed to the classification. And that's how explainable machine learning model helps the analysts understand the reasoning behind all of these decisions, uh, all of these classifications. And that's how it actually helps them plan their next step, which is how to remediate these threats. Because uh, a threat defender would have a different strategy to defend from a ransomware attack versus a rat versus a worm or anything like that. And the reason why we, we specifically started with these threat types is because they have the potential of creating the largest amount of damage within the organization if they were successful in infecting it.